Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while. I uh, broke my toe and haven't been able to swing a golf club. So it's just about healed up and we're going to start getting back into making some more videos. But today I wanted to go over a video. Um, this is something that I've encountered quite a, quite a bit in the last few weeks. Um, we're going to talk about lie angle a little bit here real quick. So I've probably had 10 or 15 customers come in for iron fittings because they've been out playing and their buddy looks at their iron at, ed at a dress, you know, before they hit the ball and they say, hey man, your toe's way up in the air when the club's sitting there on the ground. You probably need to go get fitted. What that is, is that's, that's called the static, what that would be called is that would be called the static measurement of the golf club, right? So a good example of that is ping. Um, they like to measure your wrist to floor to kind of get an idea of how long the club should be. Static doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Um, that's kind of an antiquated system. What really matters is dynamic lie angle. So dynamic, anytime you hear dynamic, that means what's actually happening in the golf swing, why the club is moving, the club is physically moving. So dynamic lie angle would be your actual, the club's actual lie angle at impact, right? So what happens in the golf swing, right? is there's centrifugal force in the, in the swing when you swing the club down, right? So what that's gonna do is that's gonna raise your hands at impact a little bit, right? Which is gonna change the line, we'll see. So you come through at impact and do do uh, centrifugal force. It's gonna change your lie angle, right? So it's not quite so up in the air as much as it was sitting there statically at address. Another thing that happens is you have something called shaft droop or toe droop, right? So because of those centrifugal forces, the shaft is going to want to curve. The toe is going to want to bend down a little bit. So you've got a couple things coming into play there. So you've got the centrifugal force raising your hands, and then you've got the toe droop of the shaft bending the toe down like that, right? Let's go ahead and hit a shot here, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, here we go. I've got some lie angle tape on here, and we're going to use the board just for demonstration purposes here. All right, so see that? That's what we're talking about right there. See that nice even strike? It's across the middle of the club. It's not towards the heel. It's not towards the toe. That's what we want it to look like, right? So remember, it doesn't matter what it looks like sitting there at a dress. What matters is this dynamic strike mark right there. Okay, so you need to just go see a fitting professional to help you figure out, you know, what the proper dynamic lie angle is for you at impact. If you have the improper dynamic lie angle at impact, so say the club is, is too upright for you, right? So if the club comes into impact and the club is too upright, that makes the face pointing left of the target at impact and vice versa. If you have the club coming into impact toe down, the, the face is actually open to your target line and not, not aimed directly at your target. All right, so I just wanted to make a quick short video about that. Like I said, it's something I've encountered quite a bit in the last few weeks. So hopefully this helps some of you out. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Please help us out. And thanks for tuning in.